Mr. Tim here from Premier Martial Arts in Aurora, ready to go over our third curriculum video for this week. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and, uh, and you check out uh, some of the rest of our things too. Anyway, let's get started. Feet together, set, bow! Let's get started today, students. So, earlier this week, we practiced a couple different triangle footwork sequences or concepts. We talked about first the male triangle. The male triangle is when our point of the triangle is pointing forward. Our female triangle is when the point of the triangle is pointing backwards towards our own feet. Now, I want you to picture in your mind these two triangles stacked on top of each other like a diamond. So we have a female triangle here and a male triangle stacked on top just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on just one side of it to get started. So if you have some markers that you've been using on the floor, let's take our triangle and let's actually point our triangle to one side to get started today. All right, students, let's go ahead and get started using our sideways triangle now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with both of my feet at the very back of the first female triangle, pointing to the back on this side. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take that foot that's on that side of the triangle, and I'm going to step it into that corner of the triangle, and I'm going to set in my guard stance here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foot, I'm going to slide it in, and I'm just going to step it right to the front. Notice how when I let it step forward, my hips turn just a little bit, my feet twist just a little bit. That way I make sure I'm staying in a strong guard stance, aiming straight down the middle. Once I get here, then I'm going to practice stepping all the way back. I'm in my guard stance, I take this foot, I slide it in to the back. When I let it slide to the back, I turn that front foot just a little bit, making sure I'm settling into the best guard stance I can. And then I'll go ahead and I'll step all the way back to the back of the triangle to reset. All right, students, let's go right into adding some punching combinations into this movement here. So starting at the back, I step forward with one foot first, and I settle here. Let's start simply with our jab cross combination. So when I'm here, I know this side's in front, so I'll start here with my jab, firing my cross right away. After I finish that cross, I'll take my second step, sliding in and forward. Right away, I want to make sure my hips settle into a position that, that, uh, that I know is going to be best for me. Then I'll fire my jab cross from that position. And then I'll rewind it. I'll step it back to that position here, fire my jab cross, before stepping all the way back to the back of the triangle. One more time, I step it forward, I settle into this guard stance, jab cross. Good, I slide through to the front of the triangle, right, or, or this variation of the triangle, and I fire again, jab cross. I rewind one step, back to here, making sure I'm settling in the good guard stance, making sure that my, my punches are sharp the best that I can make them before I finish sliding all the way back. All right, students, now let's do the same thing, but instead of just a simple jab cross combination, our combination is going to be jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. So now I'll step into this guard stance here. I know this foot's in front, that's my lead side. I'm gonna go jab. Rear hand is gonna fire the uppercut, and then the lead hand fires the hook. I rewind it all the way back before I take the next step. I'm here, now this foot is in front, this is my lead side. I fire jab, my rear uppercut, and then my lead hook. Right after this, I rewind one time, and then I'm here. When I'm here, I do it again, I fire jab, rear hand, uppercut, lead hand, hook, before I go ahead and step all the way back to finish. All right, students, now after I've practiced that sequence just on one side, now I need to make sure I practice the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn my triangle from pointing to one side to pointing to the other side. Again, I want to imagine as if these were two triangles stacked on top of each other, but I'm only focusing on one side of it now, side to side rather than forward and back. Starting here, we'll run through those sequences again. We started the sequence just by practicing the steps themselves, making sure that I'm quickly getting into my position, ready to go, aimed forward, settling into a great guard stance, sliding through to the front, switching my stance, letting my hips turn, letting my feet twist, so that I'm again set right away. Then rewinding, stepping back, again letting the feet twist, hips twist, settling into my position before rewinding all the way back. All right, the next part of that sequence on this side is as soon as I step in, we're adding those punches right away. So now when I step in here, let's start just with a simple jab cross on this side. This is what's in front, that's my jab, firing great jab cross, finishing the cross before I take that next step, settling into that position, and then firing jab cross here. Rewinding that step, settling into the position the best that we can, firing jab cross before stepping all the way back, and then repeating the sequence. And then finishing our combination, the last combination that we're doing is going to be jab. 
our rear handed uppercut and then our lead hand hook in each step that we take. So starting here, I'm taking that step. I know this is my lead side, jab, rear hand, uppercut, lead hand, hook reloading, making sure that I'm not leaving that hook out lazily and taking that next step, making sure I'm bringing it back to my guard stance before taking that next step. And then from here, this is my lead side firing out the jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, rewinding before taking that step back, lead side, jab, rear uppercut, lead hook, finishing, taking that step all the way back. All right, students, we've done a great job following along and practicing the sequencing of footwork today or today, this week. Practicing all of that footwork, make sure we're still incorporating all those other great concepts that, uh, that we know are gonna help us be successful with our striking and our martial arts in general. In particular, when in each position that we practice this week, firing out our, our punching combinations, I want you to make sure that you check out Mr. Austin's kickboxing video, talking about extending our punches and moving our head off of, off of the line with each punch. Make sure, whether we're firing our jab cross combinations, our cross hook, or our jab uppercut hook like we did today, that we're doing a great job keeping our chin tucked, our hands up, extending our punches, turning our shoulders, but letting our head move just a little bit too. We don't wanna to be too stiff through our hips and our spine and leaving the most important part of our body open to be attacked. So check out those videos and make sure we're doing our best to bring everything together. Um, in regards to our footwork sequencing. Or, or sequencing. All right, students, we've been practicing some sequencing of a physical skill this week called hand balancing. We've practiced different variations uh, or different ways that, that we can use our frog pose and our crow pose. And today what we're gonna practice, we're gonna practice some handstand alignment. Now, first I want you to warm up just by reviewing some of those other things that we talked about with hand balancing in particular. After we do that, then what I want you to do is I want you to practice just putting your weight up onto your hands kind of like you would do a handstand. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn to the side right here. I'm gonna put my hands on the floor as if I'm in like a, I'm making a letter A or like a downward dog. So I have my hands into the floor, I'm pushing my butt up and back and I'm here. Then from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate taking legs and just kind of swinging them up. Now my goal right away isn't to get into a handstand, it's just really just to get used to pushing my arms all the way straight, letting my head relax as I start kicking my hips up and loading my weight this way. All right, students, after practicing kicking up and loading our hands like this, then what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you have a wall or something that you can climb your feet up. And we're gonna use our, our wall to practice just aligning ourselves into our handstand to make our balancing that much easier. Now, make sure you, you know you feel out your body. Lots of times when we get into inversions or positions where our head is below our heart, and, um, and, our, and our weight gets up like this, especially if we're never used to that kind of position, it can take a second for our body to acclimate. So really feel it out and don't, don't push yourself in too short of a time frame to, uh, to do this kind of movement. But anyway, now what I'm gonna do, get close to a wall, I'm gonna start taking my feet and just walking up the wall. Now as I take my feet and I push and I walk up the wall, I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna start walking them as close to the wall as I can. Now my belt's in a way so I can't get to, as close as I'd like to. But anyway, once I'm here, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my head relax and look at the wall. And I'm gonna think about pushing my arms as hard as I can through here. Now notice when I'm here, I'm doing my best to bring my face, to bring my chest and my belly pretty close to the wall and to make sure that I'm kicking my legs straight. As I do this, I wanna suck my belly button back towards my spine and just hold this position, we'll say for 10 to 20 seconds. Once I get to that position where I'm you know, getting maybe a little bit tired, a little fatigued from here, then I'll just slowly walk my hands out, walk my feet down. Woo! Just kinda just relax for a second, catch my breath, and then once I feel like I'm really recovered and ready, do it again. And I'm gonna perform this for a handful of repetitions, again for 10 to 20 seconds as, at a time, just kinda building the, the stability and getting my body used to the alignment of that kind of handstand position. All right, students, great practice today, great practice this week. Make sure you guys are taking your time going through the videos. Please, you know, if there's any particular details that, um, you know, that you feel like you're missing, rewatch the videos, rewatch some of the old videos, or even if you have any questions, feel free to message us or send us an email in whichever way that you can. You know, we wanna do our very best 
in this time to help you stay up, stay on track with your, you know, your martial arts practice and, you know, and keeping up with your fitness. So if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out to, you know, to the coaches here at Premier Martial Arts and CrossFit Southlands. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying the, the material, please like and subscribe. Make sure you check us out on our, you know, check out our YouTube channels and our social media pages and, and all that too. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, stay fit, and we'll see you guys soon.